How old were you when he passed? Uh, 17. Where were you? I was, I was actually, um, I was actually in my bed, uh, which which in was in New York. Uh, no, no, no. I li I I never I li never lived in New York in that. You respect. with your mother? You know, yeah, I was with my mother in North Wales. Um, she was actually with Maureen Starkey, Ringo's ex-wife, in London, who was a dear best friend, and I was actually in North Wales at the time. And literally, I, I heard a, uh, a noise, and it, it was the the chimney fell in. And I, you know, when you just have that gut feeling that something's wrong, something's really wrong. Yeah. And I went downstairs, and all the curtains were closed, and uh, and I thought this is just too bizarre. I, but who knew what it was at the time? And then opened the curtain, press outside everywhere, and my stepfather had been told not to tell me until Mum, you know, arrived. But I just said, "What's going on?" You got to tell me. And the, my first concern at that point was to make sure that Mum was okay, more than anything, you know. Really? Yeah. Absolutely, because she still cared for well, him. You know, absolutely. I mean, that was the first love of her life. So, you know, she'd known him much longer than I'd ever known him, and was much more closer than I had ever been. Uh, so, it was all about looking after her, and it has been ever since. Do you keep in touch with the players, the McCartneys, the Yoko Onos, the, the Ringos, do you? Uh, um, every once in a while, every once in a while, we bump into each other and say hello, you know. So, so living with this legacy, yeah. do you think the end result is you benefited from the name, hindered by the name, or it's a wash? Wow. Um... I, 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 I wouldn't say I benefited it in, in, in the public sense, but I, I would say it's made me, probably made me the man I am today, um, along with the fact that um, I want to make my mother proud more than anything else. That is number one.